hi everybody uh, today i will talk about um, open world assumption and close world assumption actually these two things are very important if you have data and you want to reason with this data now actually so in short these two terms open world assumption and co close world assumptions are necessary for actually reasoning with the data now what's the difference so open world assumption is actually if you uh, want to guess um, and if you want to reason based on the guessing on the data then you can use open world assumption and close world assumption is actually based on the real information based now you will understand why so <coughs> in the open world assumption if you have any unknown in unknown knowledge and that is not defined that is actually undefined in the open world assumption and in the closed world assumption if any knowledge that is not defined that is actually false so let's take a look at example so here you see that there is a statement like shomon reads a book so uh, so the information base or knowledge base contains this data that shumon reads a book now if there is any inquiry or query comes with uh, the information statements like this whether shumon reads a paper or not so if this type of statements comes then this open world assumption tells that okay this is undefined that means that that is not defined in the knowledge base on the other hand in the close world assumption this type of in, uh, if this type of query inquiry comes like whether shumon reads a paper then since the paper is not defined in the knowledge base then it tells okay since it's not defined that means this is false now there is another important uh, difference uh, between open world assumption and closed world assumption so in the open world assumption uh, actually it tries to drive conclusion from the facts for example there is a statement like this that rumona has mother karima so rumona has a mother whose name is karima and there is another statement like has mother has cardinality one that means rumona can have only one mother and if the statements the query comes like this that rumona has mother jumuna jumuna and actually since has cardinality is defined one that's why what actually in the open world based uh, reasoning so it drives Uh, the conclusion that since has cardinality one, that means Romona can have only one mother. So, Kurima and Jomona, these two things are same. That means this indicate to the same person. Maybe it has different name. So it tells like Kurima is same as Jomona. So, uh, Kurima has another name like Jomona, or Jomona has another name like Kurima. This type of facts is derived in the open world assumption. But if we take a look at the closed world assumption, when this type of statements comes, like uh, Romona has mother Jomona, then then what it does is actually since has cardinality is one, that means that uh, Romona cannot have two mother. So it shows an error because Romona has only one mother. and based on this reasoning open world assumption and closed world assumption so if you want to um, have a reasoner then it's very important to know this because some uh, reasoner supports this and some reasoner doesn't so if you have rda based language that is actually open world assumption based that means that if some information is not defined in rda then what it does it tries to drive new facts out of it and sometimes it tells okay um, it is undefined but in the case of closed world assumption 
it, it, it you know all of the information and the conclusion will be drawn based on the knowledge you have and not the new facts will not be derived in this case so choosing an appropriate language or uh, is actually um, because some language supports open world assumption and some language supports closed world assumption so you cannot use all of the language to reason in all of the cases so uh, choosing a language for reasoning is very important task and you have to consider these two important facts before choosing the language hope that you will choose the right language that's all for today thanks